everybody. This is going to be a very brief video about how to create DIY, as they say, your own um, produce wash and uh, disinfectant for the sink and countertops and everything under the sun that you can possibly imagine that you want to kill like 99.9% .9 of the bacteria um, those nasty little bacteria that make people sick but um, you still want to leave your produce safe to consume your countertop safe for your kids to run their hands along and then stick in their mouths um, all of that kind of thing and this is how I do it um, many times I'll use um, organic distilled white vinegar but I don't have any today so instead I'm going to use um, some pure organic lemon juice which I'm going to strain just so it does not, those little pieces don't clog up my nifty little sprayer here and I'll put the link for this spray bottle which is really nice because it's it's the amber bottle um, no lead amber bottle and the sprayer is BPA free Oops, there we go BPA free and um, the reason I'm using this um, rather costly lemon juice is because um, I ordered it and it, when it came the bottles were opened because of uh, whatever shipping method they used so I'm not going to consume it but I, it, I feel it is safe to use on my produce and countertops etc because um, I'm going to be using a lot of water to wash it off so um, this spray bottle is 16 ounces and this is 16 ounces so I'm going to use slightly less um, lemon juice than what is in the actual bottle and this is really important you know that you wash your produce because you can get all kinds of nasties if you don't um, nasties like parasites um, that uh, we had our digestive tract just is not um, suited for but they'll dig in there and make you sick so yeah so I'm getting among other things you know various toxins or whatever so I got a little a little there and then a teaspoon of you know baking soda and you're going to watch it kind of foam up. This is cool. This is like a science experiment in my kitchen. I do a lot of experimenting in my kitchen, but this is the fusion of the acid. And um, usually it doesn't go above the rim. <clears throat> but you know how that goes. I'm filming it, so it's probably going to try. Just stir it a little. You know, it's going to prove me wrong. I'll stick my finger in it, just like uh, you would for a carbonated beverage. And I tell you what, um, this is a four cup Pyrex measuring cup, and it foamed up to the very top. And um, if you have a bigger measuring cup, you know, a six cup or whatever that you want to use, um, that's okay too. I did not use all of the lemon juice because I knew it was going to do that. You can also use, instead of using um, two cups of organic vinegar or lemon juice, you can also use one cup. But this is a high produce season for us. We're coming into fresh produce and we eat a lot of it and I share it with people and um, that little bit you know that stronger solution is gonna really make a difference so I'll be back when this calms down and um, there you go okay so I've stirred this down and it's strained it goes into this awesome little bottle I love these bottles um, they make them in amber and they make them in blue so if you're not into making labels for all of your bottles, which I don't know, I'm not, um, you can distinguish, you know, like maybe you can do it by room, you know, um, blue for the bathroom, amber for the kitchen. 
and um, there you go that's all there is to it it's full it's ready to go it's ready to clean my um, my produce and it works really really well so it's uh, prep day and this is what I'm doing today so Shabbat Shalom oh just um, one more tidbit it's really good for sanitizing your cutting board. You just don't want to leave it on for too long because most of them are held together with glue, which is another video I'm going to make about the best non-toxic, no glue cutting boards that I have found after more than a few hours of research. So, there you go. Shabbat Shalom.